Hey guys, this is Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons. Sunday night, Sunday evening on June 7th. In this video, we are going to use Airtable to track some monument preservation work. So I'm putting this video together for Elaine and Danny. Uh, they're going to be helping me manage some of this monument preservation work. Uh, we're getting a ton of it. <laughs> so, um, we're not complaining. It's a good thing. We like to be busy, but we need to we need to keep track of it. So uh, I've set a spreadsheet up here. Uh, not a spreadsheet, sorry, a base in Airtable. It's much better than a spreadsheet. And um, you can see here we've we've got uh, we're adding these jobs to the spreadsheet, and we got a couple different clients we're doing this for. Um, and so every time we get a request, it should get logged in here. Okay, so I want to just show you how to do that, and then uh, I tweaked this a little bit. I think I did one other video on this, but I've, I've tweaked it a little bit. I want to show you kind of how you can use the Kanban view. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to open up one of these latest requests that we got from AT&T. Okay, so here it is, and the most important thing that we're going to get out of here is the job number. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add that. Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna go ahead. We don't we don't have a job number yet, uh, so I'm gonna leave that blank. But we'll we'll get one in there. And the other thing we want to do is we want to see where this thing's at. Okay, so usually they're they're good about putting at least one address on here for us. So this one might not have one. So we're at Wood Creek Way and Davis Road. And this is in Stockton. So what I like to do um, is I like to actually try and grab an address for the job name. So let's go ahead and do that. So and we, it doesn't really matter. We just need one that's close. Okay. So here's Davis. So we'll get an address on this guy right here. So we're going to call it 9790 Davis Road. Okay. So and then on these uh, we always do ATTCR. And then the address, 9790 Davis Road. And we always put a dash and the city name. Okay. So you can see these need to get cleaned up a little bit. They shouldn't have the ampersand in them. And we just we stay away from the ampersand because we can't put that in the folder name. Okay, so... Uh, we're going to assign this, uh, so Danny and I are kind of splitting these up, so I'm taking the ones that are uh, north, so these ones in Stockton and Lodi, I'm going to take the ones that are kind of north of Modesto, and then these ones on, on that are south of Modesto we give to Danny. Okay, and so this one is just on the radar still, we haven't started work yet. Okay, and I actually know this is going to be job number 42, 043-042. So then we're going to come over here. We don't know yet if that's going to need a corner record. We'll put in that address again. Pretty sure it's 7, let's see, 9790. You can tell I'm dyslexic, huh? Okay, and then the city is going to be Stockton. The county is San Joaquin County. Okay, so we don't know yet if we're going to have a corner record. So what we're going to do, we'll just customize this field type real quick. We're just going to add an option. Actually, I'm going to add two options. I'm going to put likely in there too. Okay, so we don't know yet. I haven't looked at it. Okay. Okay, now this is a new thing I added. This this is the current step. So uh, we want the status. Then we're going to put in the, the current step. Okay, so... Um, you know what, I just I just realized I need to add a current step. So we're going to just put in the uh, hopper. That means we haven't done anything yet. And we're going to drag it up here to the top. Okay. So this one's in the hopper. Okay, 
Okay, so let's go back and look at these. This one is in the hopper. Okay, Cherokee Road. I actually um, completed, let's see, the research has been reviewed. Okay, I gotta go back. I've been there once, but I gotta go one more time. California Street and Lodi is that one's all the way done. So we delivered that one. 23rd Street, Merced. I think we have the job created for that. This one is stocked and the job has been created, and this one's complete too. Okay, so what's cool about that? Oh, let me let me go back. Let's finish this before we. Um, before I show you what's cool about the Kanban view here. Okay, so we want to just note when we got this uh, request, so we want to make sure they don't sit too long. Here, we want to keep our client happy, so that one came in last Friday. Okay, the site visit hasn't been done. None of this other stuff has been done. Okay, but I do know Cherokee Road is not done yet. So I think that's all the information we can put in there. Okay, so what's cool about this current step is now you can create a new Kanban view. Okay, by the way, I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call this main grid view. Okay, so we're going to make a new view. Let's see, view. Nope. Uh, we want to add a Kanban view. Okay, and we're going to call this current step Kanban view. Okay, and then it asks you to pick a, um, you got to pick a field that it can use for the Kanban view. So we're going to use current step and say done. So what's cool about that now is it actually sets you up a little Kanban board. And uh, you can actually drag these cards in between. So this tells you really quickly here what we have in the hopper, what jobs have been created, right? So kind of handy. Um, now what, what you can also do, so if we come back in here to our main grid view, Okay, and we're just going to duplicate this field. So this is kind of a neat trick. And uh, we're going to go ahead and duplicate the field. And uh, we're going to call this next step. Okay, so this one, the next step will be research. And this one will be the site visit. Okay, and I'm going to um, just edit these real quick. So that they're not past tense anymore. Okay, so we're going to say oops, create job. Land records research and records research review. So because this is uh, future, I don't want the past tense on here. Okay with that, yep. Okay, so uh, what that does now is we can set up a new Kanban view. And uh, this one we're going to call Next Step Kanban View. And we'll choose Next Step now instead of Current Step. And so what this does is it, it allows us now to see what's next, right? So if I want to come in here and see, hey, what jobs need a site visit next? It's really easy to do that, right? So I like having both those um, current step and next step in there, and I've done that for, for other processes too. Okay, and I just want to let you guys know, you can also just, you can group here if you'd like to. So if we wanted to, we could group by next step. Okay, so that's another uh, another fairly easy way to do that, um, which is cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and not group by that. But that's an alternative way to look at what you've got um, at each stage in the process. If you don't like the Kanban view, you can just have a grid view that's grouped. In fact, you can if you if you don't want to undo and redo that, you can just make a new view. So we'll call it grouped grid view. Call it whatever you want, but and then we can just uh, make that permanent. Put that grouping on here permanently. So I'm just going to group by next step. Okay, and then now we can just leave it and I can come back to my main grid view. Okay, so anyways, Airtable is a super cool tool. There's a whole bunch of stuff here that I haven't even touched. Uh, if you get a Google Maps API, you can actually add location data, which is cool. Um, so anyways, it, it's super slick. 
Um, we, we use it to track monument preservation for a couple different clients. And um, yeah, so hopefully Danny and Elaine, uh, that this video makes sense. And uh, they'll be able to plug right in here and, and start using this. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. We'll do, we'll do more videos with their table.